My name is Livia Paldi and I've been the director of the Baltic Arts Centre in Visby on the biggest Swedish island on Gotland mm. since 2011 December. Mm. And if I have to summarize what the institution is about or has been about, it's basically an institution that uh, focuses on artistic production and also on the conditions of artistic production, its conceptual environment and, and also residences. But it has never been a classical residency place. It was more into kind of suggesting or tying out or testing different types of residences. And it has a long history until just very briefly, I, I would say that until 2007, it functioned as a Kunsthalle. And so it had an exhibition program, international Baltic um, group shows and solo exhibitions. And under the first director, Johan Puzetta, um, it also funded one of the most important programs of the institution that's up and running until now. So during Johan's time, um, the production in residency was funded. Mm -hmm. And the basic idea was not to invite the artist for a long-term residency and maybe sort of put him in him or her in a condition that she or he has to deal with the local uh, situation, landscape, uh, history. Mm. Um, this is my interpretation basically. It's, it was more like inviting the artist, have a study visit and offer a proposal that the institution was willing to, to produce. What I want to say with this as well, that since 2007 was a, was a really like a demarcation line in the institutional history, um, it also kind of signaled a different kind of financial environment. And from 2007, Lisa Rosendahl, um, who is currently the director of Jaspis, she found herself in a much more kind of a smaller, more intimate situation of, of a sort of residency format, what, as I also learned, uh, since I've been living there, that it's 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 kind of a communal flat. So we have basically four rooms and an office upstairs. So that means a very close kind of living together, live-in situation with the artist as well. So Lisa was also trying out a lot of different types of residences and she was very much involved in the conceptual framework of artistic production that she's been continuing ever since. So she invited more research-based projects, um, funded the collaborative research residency with a couple of Nordic partners and also the, the destruction in residence, which was also an answer and, um, and the re readdressing of the production in residency format that was functioning since 2004. So I, I basically entered into this, um, into this pattern and for me, first of all, I'm not from Sweden, so I'm, I'm coming from Budapest, I have a curatorial background, I, I used to be the chief curator of the Budapest Kunsthall, so it was obviously a, a more curatorial approach, which was sort of the case of Lisa's uh, time as well. But uh, my idea was, and also the, as I mentioned, the financial situation also changed in 2011 since Fronted and Skultur, which used to be the main funding um, <coughs> supporter of Bach and, uh, and experimental production. It basically uh, stopped functioning as a pro I mean, stopped as a program. And, and so this whole idea of, of how you can fund artistic production changed. And, and so it, it also drove me, and it's a small institution, so it used to be a 1.75, now it's going to be since January 1st, um, a 1.5. So this means that, that I have, as a director, full-time, and I have an assistant part-time. So that also means that it's, it's, it works really intimately with artists. We, we, I mean, I select a few projects. I also function very uh, pronouncedly as a curator. And so the residences that, that I started or sort of um, proposed or invited, one of them was the site residency that we started in May. And the conceptual father of this was Sebastian Cihotsky, the deputy director of the Museum of Modern Art Warsaw.
it's it's an experimental residency that that's also been an answer to to how you can deal with residency and production and the relationship how what kind of a situation you would like to put the artist in invite the artist what is the question about hosting and and uh, and so that residency, the site residency, is revisiting 60s, 70s art practices, and it's it's also announced as a non-production residency. It's a short, uh, it's a short two-week, um, it's almost like um, putting an artist from a metropolitan background, already artists who have a substantial career, um, and put him or her in a situation that 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 is a sort of more like how would I say? Um, I don't find the proper word. A bit of a surprise. And this is what's also coming to your previous question, that I like how Gotland comes into the picture. Gotland is a very specific part of, part of Sweden, um, not just because of this uh, famous, um, famous people been filming there like or living there like like Ingmar Bergman of Fore but also Tarkovsky and also because it hosts basically the artistic and intellectual um, society during the summer. It's a seasonal island. It has it's a UNESCO heritage Visby where where Baltic Art Center is located. So you know it has a lot of different historical um, and uh, expectational layers. And this is also a, a kind of an ID to expose the artists to that, but not uh, putting them in a situation where they have to respond. So the responsiveness is absolutely up to them. And it has always been the, the mandate of Bach to, to, to have a sort of open openness about the projects and production. Of course, my the, the projects that I'm running, um, I kind of slightly shifted. Um, and I would like to have an end result, but the progress itself, or the process itself, is pretty open, and it's decided by the artist. It's and and there is a close dialogue and collaboration between us. So it's because of the funding, because of of the conceptual situation, and because most of the artists are are coming from different parts of the world. But you know, the site residency, going back to that. Um, is also interesting because as a non-production residency, the first resident we had, and we did it, uh, I think I have to mention that, it's a very important thing that you also have to find a different collaborations. And it was launched together and with the support of the Polish Institute uh, in Stockholm and also the, the Goethe Institute um, Sweden. And Anja Skopolska was the first uh, Warsaw-based artist, um, video artist was the first resident. And during her residency, she, she dis like I, by the end of the residency, she she was absolutely challenged by a lot of different uh, for the, for a lot of different reasons. And then months later, she she called and and she said she wanted to film or make her new film on the island. So we made it possible. And and she came back in a month and and, and filmed the future days, which was then premiered and contour biennial in Mechelen and a couple of other biennials following that, Göteborg biennial. So it's 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 these are the you know the visibility issues but I but I never like and I think my my predecessors neither really pressured artists to to focus on Gotland. But I also feel that people come to Gotland and and there are certain questions or certain notions that suddenly they would like to elaborate on. Mm -hmm. And of course the landscape has an effect. Mm -hmm. um, of course there's a certain kind of relative isolation. Um, this whole med medieval scenario, or the, the differences between the north and the south of Gotman. Then of course the Bergman heritage, and of course the Tarkovsky, the sacrifice film. And you know, so it's like, and it's it's a very civilized island. So it's not, you know, it's not a, it's it's very difficult to find that situation when it's 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 really isolated. So I think it's 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 also the north, with a, which is one of my favorite places. You know, with the military, the industry, the different layers of of of, of the different social layers as well, the seasonality. So I think it gives a lot of input in um, in many different ways without forcing people to, to actively look at one specific aspect of it.
What is also important to say is that Bok is not alone on the island. It's like there are two more international um, residency places. One is the Writer's Center, Translators and Writer's Center, and the other one is the Composer Center that also kind of shares the building with the Compo Composer School. So these are also the three centers, a very important um, kind of, yeah, kind of allies as well, mm -hmm. promoting international production and giving space to people, kind mm -hmm. of a, think sp a thinking space. Um, do you work together? We do, we mm -hmm. do have regular meetings and we now from next year we are also trying to, to, to sort of come together within different program schemes and, and trying to figure out how we can add to, to one another's programs. But we regularly visit each other um, and, you know, we kind of uh, participate in the programs as, as um, visitors. Mm -hmm. As, as I said in the beginning, of course, Buck is, a, is, a, is an interesting um, uh, small, I, I would rather say really like a situation and, and a kind of a catalyst where with the artist you also like see what is actually happening. Is it like a pre-production? Is it, is, it, is it processing something that she or he has been working on? Or it's basically the finalizing something. So you know it's, it's the, the institution is kind of open to, to receive different, um, receive projects in different uh, phases as well. But of course, the best thing is if, if, if we can set on a journey and, and, and sort of develop something together that may you know, expand on, on, different, um, on different levels in the future. So this is, you know, so this is why I want to say that it can be a lot of things. And of course, it's, it, it's based on conversations. So the people I work with, we also we also getting close because we, we do the funding thing together as well. Because the institution, obviously, as I mentioned previously, is in a different uh, financial situation. And also, like, at this point in Sweden, um, it is not that easy anymore to, to find money or apply for money for production. So you always have to have a different context, so you obviously have to offer different things. It's not just primarily um, artistic production. I mean, I'm basically talking more of the institutional um, aspect because, I mean, artists obviously can, can apply for production funds, but as an institution, so you know, it's always um, a question about how and what can you offer. So this this is this is also what and and if you ask about Visby and Gotland, it has to be more a, a kind of a retreat or thinking process type of thing. As of course you can come as someone who would like to research the history or geography. I mean, I've been hosting a few people who, who were interested in different different media and, and different aspects of the island, but it's also a dialogue that I, I bring with myself as a curator back to the space and then collect people to think about, to, to discuss. That's how the, the context in, in, in Flux was also coming about. So the idea was not necessarily aim at the result or it's more like comparing, so it's like a comparative study, but, but, but also discussing and, and, and presenting and getting to know each other's situation a bit more. And I think it also goes back to this um, um, idea that when Bog became part of an EU project called uh, European Network of Public Art Producers a few years ago, um, that was also involving a peer-to-peer -peer group meeting. And this is what Bok is really perfect for, to have a small group of people coming together and have an intense discussion, whether it's a couple of days or a week or two weeks. I think it's not really the place for, for um, so it's not like a classical residency place that, that offers you like to stay there for six months, because it doesn't have studios anymore, it doesn't have the separate housing that the artist I personally feel would need to kind of commute between the studio and, 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 and the house, so to have the privacy, which, which obviously is a bit of an, you know, it's not, we have to work on it uh, at Bog, but when it comes to a, a really exciting kind of gathering of people, where, you know, you can, you can 
basically say, okay, we want to come because I'm, I'm going to write a text or I, I, I prepare for this exhibition and I want to gather with three, four more people. So I, I, I think you, you find the different situations. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's both um, a challenge, but it's, it's of course I try to also work with the situation and, and, and see the benefits of it, that you're not pressured, but you are pressured in different ways or you're challenged in different ways how you, how you make your production uh, visible. Mm -hmm.